choices every day. We have chicken and pizza every day. We've got choices for you guys all the time. So I hope you enjoyed your time in the cafeteria today and kind of hanging out in our lunchroom and kind of seeing that part of our school. After lunch right now, we are going to do a couple of different things. We want to really give you a feel for what high school is like. And then following that, we're going to give you some tours around yes, campus. Break your pencil and your arm. I'm sorry. If you break my arm, just please make it my left. I'm dominant with my right. How old are you? Like 12? You do realize this is detention for high schoolers. I'm 13. I'm a freshman here at James Clemens. And yes, I got detention, but it's not my fault. This should be good. How? Well, you see, you and your friends were. I was walking down the hallway in Freshman Friday and you and your friends pulled me in the trash end. I was stuck because I was pulling macaroni and ham out of my trousers. Wow. Ooh, she's alive. Do you think you're cool or something because you play a sport? This kid is a freshman this year. He had no idea what he was getting into coming to the school and you proved all his fears right. Shame on you. I know when I was in eighth grade, I was scared for my life to come to high school. Look, I was just messing with him. I mean, I hurt him or anything. Look, high school ain't easy. You gotta be ready, kid. Look, high school is scary enough already, and you ruined this kid's first week. Hi, so, not to interrupt, but I think we have some company. Oh. Oh my goodness. They look like eighth, eighth graders. graders. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do? Uh, um, uh, uh do, do we tell a joke? Yes. Do that. Oh, uh, mm, oh, what's the skeleton's favorite Wait, food? Uh, no, more puns. No, no more puns. No. Seriously, what do we do? Seriously, what do we do? Oh, um, yeah. I, I wish someone would have told me what to expect. Hey, look, I, I didn't mean anything but messing with you. It was a pretty stupid thing to do. You know what? Let me make it up to you. From here on out, I'm going to tell you everything you're going to need to know. Yeah? That would really be great. Look, you really don't have to worry too much. It's only a potential of four years of abject misery staring you right in the face. If you make the wrong choices. It really is all about starting off right. Get the first five days right and everything will fall into place. Get the first five days wrong and it will be a swirling vortex of misery. But we don't want you to dwell on the negatives. <laughs> After all, it could end up being perfect bliss. You never know. Oops. Trust me, they're right. High school has limitless potential to go either way. I mean, as a matter of fact, I know that it would be certain bliss if uh, certain people would give a <coughs> other certain people a chance. Or it can be a real pain in the butt if certain people can't take a certain hint. Mm. But really, there is a lot to look forward to. Yeah, you like waking up at 5 a.m. Hey, it's not that bad. It's a rite of passage into adulthood. 
those first steps of independence, high school, the big HS, life flying, first class. Dude, corny. Everything changes. Your friends change. People go away for a summer and come back looking and acting like complete strangers. Suddenly everyone is so interesting. It's not that girls weren't already interesting, it's just some girls get even more interesting. And some boys get even more obnoxious. The transition from middle to high school can be extremely strange. I mean, every grade has its own reserved name. What the heck is a freshman? Dude, you're a senior in high school and you don't even know what a freshman is. <laughs> Wait, what's a senior? Oh my god. <laughs> I need to know. Anyways, the transition can be pretty strange. Some people come back and they're a completely different person. Some people will, let's just say they, they haven't hit their growth spurt. I haven't hit my growth spurt yet. My doctor says I'll be six feet tall someday. You know, it's okay if you're not six feet tall. Once you get to James Clemens, you'll see a lot of different people. They look different and they act different. One thing you need to, know, uh, need to know, you don't have to try to be like anyone else. You don't have to impress anyone. told us, why are you in detention? Oh, come on, you can tell us. Shh, just let it out. I'm going to get my locker open. Your locker? Just let it open, please proceed to your next destination. Um, I can't get my locker open. Of course you can. These aren't real. 
We don't have walkers at JC. But my books, how do I? Makes you stronger, kid. Builds character. Look, I know what you're afraid of. Ah, uh, my first day at a new school. I can just smell the opportunity. Hey, um, do any of you guys know where A110 is? Can you get this guy? Let's go. Of course we know where A112 is. Right this way. We're we'll right in here. Wow, algebra is darker and scarier than I thought. <laughs> Freshman Friday! Look, no one goes around waving a big sign saying, oh, I'm a freshman, I'm a senior, I'm a sophomore. If you actually can't tell, it's actually really hard to tell. try to help you, even when they're just as lost as you are. You know, I would help you if you were lost. I wish I could help you get lost. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to strike off in a direction and hope you ended up where you needed to be. You may not end up exactly where you intended, but you may end up somewhere even better. Excuse me, can you tell me what class this is? Um, it's drawn, and I'm so glad that you decided to show up. Ms. Patel told us we'd be getting a new boy in class tonight. Oh, I'm not sure this is the right. Yeah, absolutely the best possible Um, what day is that? Thanks. No. 
I was in that show too. I played tree number two. <clears throat> but What's wait a second. Rules? You play sports and you're in drama? That's what we're trying to tell you. You don't have to be a smart kid or an athlete or band kid or anything. This is high school. What do you want to do? Robotics? Um, art? Yeah, I love art. ROTC? Yo, this, I heard this dude went from France all the way. Nope, we did it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I love you. Oh, oh that's so sweet. I'm we'll figure it out. Work. I don't know about you guys. That it hurt. Where's? Hey, I heard they were doing a documentary on us. Yeah, something like that. Do you hear that. about I, that? Do you know when they're gonna enter? Hey, right. documentary person. Hey, I want to be on camera. Where are you? Where are they? Aren't they Where are they? Thank, right you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Right hey. Should I just um, stand here? Yes, guys, but I, I, we're, we're, doing, we're doing a play here, right? No, no. And I'm filming, kind of desperate. Wait, what I do? Jesus. No, 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 no. I, I can't be on camera. I, I can't be on camera. What's wrong? Oh, Calm right. down. Calm down, dude. Just, like, chill out. Y you don't get it. M my parents are... Crazy? crazy? Yeah, yeah, we, we do, do understand. understand. Single biggest challenge to high school happiness. Parents. I remember it well, the first day of my high school career, and my parents were full of warnings and advice. And all of it was wrong. to have a 
slave driver, of a manager, to whip you and chain you to a shake machine while wearing dingy, greaso, tacky uniforms? Well, do you? No, I guess not. Well then, you simply have to get A's in everything. What if I get a C in something? Well, we sell your kidneys on the black market and spend the money on your sister. <laughs> They mean well, but they can be kind of clueless. Worse than that, they get the final word on everything. Tell you how to cut your hair. What clothes to wear. Who to hang out with. Who you should date. And what classes to take. Ah, oh, classes. The subject of classes can be a little tricky. After all, you do want to get into a good college, but you also don't want to go crazy with papers, projects, essays. I mean, who knows what they want to be when they're 16 years old? I mean. I bet when you were a kid, you had all those crazy ideas about what you wanted to be. I wanted to be a fireman. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be a movie star. Hey, can I get a spotlight? I wanted to be in the spotlight. Yes, it looks like you do. But your parents just love that idea. Well, not really. It gets a little work to get your parents to let you take the classes you really want to take.
They mean well, and they try really hard, uh, but they're still pretty clueless. <laughs> and they always find a way to make things even more complicated. Confusing, awkward. Embarrassing. I mean, high school is complicated, confusing, awkward, and embarrassing enough without your parents' help. And even though their advice is well-intentioned, they probably can't help you with some of the big issues. Like the main reason. Lunch. Lunch gives you an hour to do anything you want with refuel. It's a great time for class meetings, socializing, or making up tests. Except for Thursdays. That's advisory day. Ugh. Oh, come on, guys. Advisory's not that bad. Especially if you have a class crush. It really stinks if you're stuck with your stalker. But other than that, you have the hour to do anything you want. You can find new friends, make new hobbies, and join new clubs.
Detention is not the place you want to be. I know we seem cool and all. This isn't real life. What do you mean? This isn't real life. This is a play. <laughs> what? Yes. Just calm down, dude. It's a play. Whoa! Did you see that? What is this? Magic? It's called tech. It's pretty cool. You get your own spotlight, music here. And costume! See, stay out of detention. It's really not like this. And you'll miss out on so many great things about high school. Like friends and, and driving. After school jobs, volleyball games, ACT scores. The first unsupervised one on one day. The first big rejection by someone of the opposite sex. The first big responsibilities in life. The first time you have to worry about a prom date. First kisses. And of course, all that leads to one thing after another. It can lead to second kisses if you're lucky. And your second big rejection by a member of the opposite sex. A lot of memories get made in four years. Choir, SGA, Zen club. Football, basketball, interact club, soccer club, soccer team, uh, uh, the fishing club, yeah. The fishing club? Really? But, uh, it was fun. Wow, <sighs> really? Speaking oh of God. fishing, I went fishing this weekend. I went this big. That's my fish. And guess what fish? I would have thrown him back if he looked like that. Do we have a fishing club? No, I don't think we do. But we do have lots of other things. And just one day at James Clemens, you can climb trees in AP Environmental Science, then reenact the Great Depression in AP US history. She took our desks away. We sat on the floor. It was awesome. Then after that, you can go to a fashion show in fashion design. And then you can finish off the day building a house in construction. <laughs> Photography, band, yearbook, there's so much to do and tons of clubs. Clubs? What kind of clubs? That sounds great. I know, I know, sign up. Oh, stop it, he doesn't belong in those clubs. He belongs in photography or crafty dance. Oh, um, no way! <laughs> Join the French club, you can come to party with us. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, I'm so funny. 
I make the best jokes sometimes. <gasps> that reminds me of this one time I made my little sister laugh so hard the milk came out of her nose and the milk came out of my nose because I was laughing at the milk that came out of her nose. <laughs> it was such perfect irony. I don't even know how to describe it. Well, you know, you, you try to be nice. But you have to be careful not to be too nice. Sometimes you're nice and people think you're flirting. Ah, uh, flirting. Among all the other topics to navigate, there's dating. Yeah, just like, don't do it. It isn't worth it with some people. <laughs> you know, dating in high school is such a complex issue, I think we better only cover the high point. Do we really have to cover dating? We'll keep it simple for the relationship impaired. Yay! High school relationship type one. Unrequited love due to cowardice. <laughs> oh my gosh, who, who hands are so soft? You put mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. I love my hamburger. I love my cheeseburger. Hi, Kara. Hey, Dusty. So, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah? Uh, I was wondering if maybe you weren't busy or if you had free time or if you had something to do or. Uh, yes? If maybe. <coughs> Um, I was wondering if maybe next weekend you would want to, um... Yes, Jesse. You're wondering, yeah? Um, um, I was wondering if you had number 47 on last night's trick homework. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've got it. It's sine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Actually, that's not correct. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Who cares? <laughs> Sometimes you just can't seem to make a connection with someone. Yeah, and other times... They think there's a connection, but you really don't think there's a connection. And you try to be nice and say, it's not you, it's me. But really, it's you. If you're trying to scare the freshman, I got you beat. I went on one date with this chick, and she literally stalked me. That's pretty good. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Ian. Yeah. yeah, it's Leah. Look, I just wanted to call to tell you how fantastic it was going to the movies with you tonight. I mean, who would have guessed we're going to have such similar taste in movies? Most guys would have never dreamed of taking a girl to see Frozen. It's like we finish each other's sandwiches. That's why I wanted to call. I know it's early in our relationship, and we haven't had much time to talk one-on-one, -on -one, but I just feel so connected to you. Like, after the movies, when we were sitting in the car, listening to the radio, and my favorite song came on, and you knew every word. Love is an open door. How perfect was that? Okay, so I just thought I'd call you to tell you, well, thanks for the great date. I hope you had fun. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I had so much fun that I just wanted to call you and tell you how much fun I had. Okay, so I guess it's getting late. I'm sure you'll call me back in the morning. So this is Leah, 515-5555. Silly me. I guess you know that. Okay, well, Leah, five one five 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 five. Toodles. So, what did you do? Mm, nothing. But she loves you. Don't you want to have a girlfriend? Look, there's a lot more than just having a boyfriend and girlfriend in life. Yeah, wish you could explain that to some people. Too sweet, too considerate, 
that when the time comes, it is impossible, simply impossible, to break up with him. I like to call this type over-the-top Casanova. Darling, how is forensics? It's uh, still going on. OK, now look, I know I should probably wait to surprise you with this, but I got you these. Surprise. Oh, wow. A dozen roses. <laughs> how sweet. Thank you. Now, if you look closely, one of the petals on each rose has a haiku I wrote about you. See, this one here says, if pieces I lack and whole I can't seem to be, will you complete me? <laughs> Which way she go? Can you believe that? I would be livid. The boy's got some nerve. Poor girl. What? I thought girls would love roses with haikus on each petal. Dude, girls are more confusing than AP calculus BC. Am I right? Uh, uh yeah, you yeah. Excuse me. Oh, no. Excuse me. else today, it's this. Avoid the friend zone. You ought to know better. What? <laughs> okay. Everyone ready? She loves this. Yeah, she's going to say this. Uh, she's beautiful. She laughs at everything you say. So relax. You got it. So, well, I've been thinking. Casanova? No, 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 Casanova. No, 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 no Casanova. Oh.
child is a boy? We'll name him Ian Jr. Oh, Ian, we're going to be so happy together. Together forever. And I just wanted to say, I love you. Oops, that just kind of slipped out. I thought it, and then I said it. OK, well, call me back when you get this. I love you. Hey, let's try this scenario. Hopeless, but determined. Maybe you could help me out with this one. Maybe you could stand over there. And yet I continue to try. Don't you, Ian? Ha! It's more than you. <laughs> Look, she's not. Get over it. Never gonna go away. Oh, my God. It's me again. I'm afraid I scared you off with the whole I love you thing. I just, I thought it, and then I said it. I hope you aren't mad. I would never want to make you mad. Sweetie, I know this is all moving fast, but sometimes you know. You know? So, it's 5 a.m. You know I love you, right? That's it. I've loved you so much, and you couldn't even love me back. Fine. I hope I never see you again. I hate you! <laughs> Alright, let's lay off dating for a while. 
Yeah, the first day is really the worst anyways. There's so much to expect in high school. New yeah. friends and homework, study groups, and projects and football games. Tryouts and rehearsals. And fire drills in the rain. And the snow. 16 hours of homework every night. New friends? Oh, no friends. But the absolute most important thing to remember is this flight is over. Please proceed to your next destination. No, no, wait, wait. We have to, we have to tell them. You want detention again? Oh. Get to class. Oh. Hey, you, freshman. Yeah. In my second ball class, right? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Hey, and you let me know if anybody messes with you. You're gonna be all right. Thanks. So, I guess they're right. I got my books and I got my classes scheduled. So, uh, maybe some confidence too. Hey, um, Vari, wait up, okay? Come on. <laughs> 